Oh, 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 my, my, my. Oh, little Gwenny certainly has to come up in the world, hasn't she? Well, I've always, I've always been generous to a fault. Generous? Not with me, you weren't. Well, get used to it. Do this job right, you can have ten of those. Oh, well, I think I just might take you up on that. Alex. Listen to me. Delia, we want as our friend. We want her on our side. Be nice to Delia. I will. Now, get out of here. Right, Bob. <laughs> Nana, don't mess this up, baby. Anna. Hi, Tony. Um, may I come in? Yes, well, of course. I... Well, I'm a little shocked. I thought you had disappeared. Ah, uh, yes. Well, as you can see, I'm back. <laughs> yes, and looking as ravishing as ever. Why don't you just tell me about what happened to you? Oh, well, that's a, a long, boring story. Mm. Yes, well, uh, Marlena told us that uh, you were with Roman and uh, we were scared to death about you. And... Really, Tony? I... Well, I'm quite flattered that you thought about me at all. Well, yes, of course I thought about you. Would you like a drink? Yes, I'd love one. Yes, well, uh, this is uh, a marvelous surprise. Uh, actually, we should have champagne. Oh, I never knew you drank in the afternoon. Well, this is in cause of a celebration, don't you think? I'm surprised you're being so nice to me. Really? Why? Well, before I left, you were hardly friendly, were you? Oh, that's right. I'm terribly sorry. I should apologize to you. I suppose at that time I was becoming... Well, I was rather bitter over Renee's death. But you're all over that now. Well, of course. Life must go on. But it's actually you. I mean, I forgot how ravishing you really are. Well, thank you. Anyway, so... So tell me what happened. I mean, where did you go? I mean, Marlena said you were with Roman. You were... Were you? Oh, no, of course not. I wouldn't be alive if I had been, would I? No, no, no. Here, please sit. Isn't that terrible that Roman and Brady turned out to be the killer? Yes, that... Yeah, that's a shame. Look, um, Tony, I realize that you're very busy. No, no, not too busy for such a delectable woman. Well, I'll get right to the point. Anyway, I've been traveling all this time. Vacationing, huh? No, not quite. Um... Well, you know, I, I was very broken up after you divorced me, and, and then hearing about Roman, I, I just felt I had to get away. Yes, well, that's understandable. Well, the point is, I'm broke. I've depleted my funds, and I sort of thought I'd come back and ask you for help oh. again. I see. Would you like me to help you? Would you like me to write a check? Is that it? Oh, no, no, of course not. I don't, I uh, wouldn't dream of asking for money. I just, what I want is my old job back as your secretary. You do. Well, I was a good secretary, wasn't I, Tony? It wouldn't even have to be full-time. Well, I'm surprised. A woman of your talent, secretary, surely you can do something better than that. No, uh, I don't have any other talents, Tony. You know that. But look, I would work awfully hard if you just let me. Excuse me, Casimira. I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, so surprised to see Anna. Hello, Delia. Welcome back. Yes, yeah, she is asking for a job, Delia. Oh, that's unfortunate because it's very obvious that you have all the help you require. Oh, did you hire somebody already? No, not at all. As a matter of fact, I need someone rather desperately to take care of my personal correspondence. And you, my dear, are hired as of tomorrow. Oh, Tony, thank you. <laughs> so, we need now to celebrate with a bottle of champagne. Please, do get it at once. Thank you. Yes, of course. 